Genesis, Peyton Hatch with KR. I'm going to go over just a, an import, kind of a tips and tricks for importing on the BLK360. Um, as you all know, we have the Build360 application import. And uh, if you do the Wi-Fi connection, I'm going to switch over here to a video right now. There we go. So right now, currently, one of the things they're promoting is, you know, take your BLK360, turn on the Wi-Fi connection. Uh, your computer will connect, connect to the Wi-Fi of the BLK360. And then your iPad will connect to the Wi-Fi of the BLK360. And you go into the iPad, you hit the little button up here at the top, the little info button, and you can tell it to sync the server. And through the Wi-Fi, it'll give you an IP address. Now, you can't really read that, but it's, uh, it's through the Wi-Fi IP address. It's uh, um, just whatever the default is is just fine. And as we know, that that, uh, that Wi-Fi connection can be I don't know, not as robust as we would like, and it's a little slow. We would prefer a wired connection from the iPad, because that seems to be the biggest issue, is you know that uh, that whole connection of iPad to be okay into the computer to stream your data in, particularly if you are using a, uh, you know, if you use the HDR images. So we've got this, uh, this Belkin adapter right here. And this is it right here. Oh, there's my camera right there. This one has the lightning port. Uh, you, the new ones will have a USB-C. You just, you just need to make sure you pick up the right one. It's a, it's a Belkin adapter, and I'll provide a link down below. But that essentially allows us to simulate a wired connection. It's got an Ethernet port on the back of it, and then the lightning goes into the iPad. So take an Ethernet from your computer, plug it in, and then plug that into the bottom of your iPad. And what's nice about an iPad is it will automatically configure the IP ports, the IP address on the iPad to sync up to your Build360 app. So when I go here to my settings on the iPad, you have now an Ethernet option versus just a Wi-Fi option. So if I go here to Ethernet, and it actually says Belkin Ethernet Adapter right on it. You can click on it. It'll tell me my IP address, uh, .93.53. And it, it's different from my wi my Wi-Fi IP address. So when I open up my Field 360 app and I tell it to sync the server, that IP address is now showing up here for syncing versus the Wi-Fi adapter. So I'll switch back over here to my computer. And so my iPad is syncing. And I will tell it, here, let's go connect to the Field 360 app. You do need to make sure you type in that new IP address because it will have the default IP address um, already in there. So we'll just type in the new one for the Ethernet, 169.254.93.53. We'll tell it to test the connection. Test it successfully. We'll go add to project. And it is significantly faster now to bring in this data uh, through this wired connection. See, and there are my scans. And I can tell it to turn off all these things, and we would hit import. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check the time. This is a low-res scan, no images. This was a low-res scan with regular images, low-res scan with HDR images, and then a medium-res scan with HDR images. We'll bring everything in through the wired connection. It is 9.50 right now. I'm going to hit import, and I'll pause the, uh, the video feed. And I'll, I'll resume it once the import is done so you can see a real live time of what it took to actually import this data through a wired connection versus the Wi-Fi connection. So stay tuned. All right, guys, it just finished. Successfully imported four setups, did all the registration, created three links. It is 9.55, so it took five minutes to do that import. It's actually just under. So um, press OK. As you can see, here is our data. So we had one with no images, one set up with images. They were just standard images, not HDR images. And then we had a set up with HDR images. Oh, turn off the cloud. There we go. And because it is HDR images, we do have the option of adjusting that up and down. And then this one right here was HDR images with um, a higher resolution point cloud. 
And as you know, we also have the IR camera. And we can get temperature readings. Well, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, five minutes to do that import is significantly faster, as you can tell, which I, I am very happy for. Uh, one thing I wanted to touch on with this, sometimes the IP address, when it goes to do the import, um, sometimes this IP address, the computer is not recognizing it through the wired connection. So you may need to go into your settings. You just right click on your internet and go to open network and internet settings. Open up the screen here and go to your ethernet settings and go to change adapt change adapter options open it up go to properties and then scroll down until you get to the internet protocol version click on here and go to properties and you may need to instead of it obtaining it automatically you may need to force it to use an IP address and that is where you put in the IP address of the 169 or whatever it is on your iPad and, and uh, make sure you uh, add, this is just 255, 255, 255 here and hit OK. And that will then set the computer. That's, this is uh, probably one of the main issues they have uh, to get there. So um, once again, that is just right click on your internet down here and go to open network and internet settings change adapter options internet six properties scroll down to you find internet protocol version properties use the following IP address and put in your IP address and subnet mask 255 255 255 and press OK and that will allow you to uh, get in and use that Belkin adapter which I do recommend for every single BLK user significantly more robust, it's faster, and you'll, you'll just run into a lot less issues doing that versus the Wi-Fi connection. So guys, thank you again. I, I appreciate you watching my video. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll, I'll make another video on uh, you know customer requests. So thank you.